Aloha, everyone. Michelle Melendez with Blossom Inner Wellness and StandTogetherHawaii.com. And I'm super excited because my guest today is, his nickname is Arch Gabe, and he is the founder of Freedom Society of the Republics. And also, let me get his little bio up. He's a researcher, educator on the on constitutional law and historical facts. So thank you so much for joining me, Gabe. Yes, thank you, Michelle. Thank you for, for inviting me. I really appreciate this. Uh, this is amazing. He's got a bullet point list, you guys, that he that he wants to share, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. So, Gabe, let's just start with your first point. What happened after the International War of 1861? This is going to be all history that you guys need to know. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, right after uh, right after the International War, uh, most most of us, from my observation, we weren't told basically what happened. And that's the biggest part of our history. I find it very interesting that uh, talking to a lot of people over the years, it's amazing that not many know about it. So the Reconstruction Act, uh, Some maybe some, some of you out there listening, uh, you've probably heard of the Reconstruction Act, but what, what the Reconstruction Act was, what it was that about is, it was a uh, declaration of war. It was like a, you know, against the, independent nations okay um now this is very important to understand because i talk to people and they'll say well what do you mean independent nation well each state is a sovereign nation okay so so two years after the war around 1867 there was a reconstruction act okay that was set out by rum congress uh that's the you, you call, i just say the radical uh, Republicans, red Republicans. They're not the same as the Republican uh, form of government, okay? They uh, set out the military occupation of the 10 Southern states, okay? Now, <clears throat> during that time, now, again, I just want to also add this. There was a, uh, this is just during peacetime, so between uh, right after the international war. So the Congress, they set out the Reconstruction Act, put the 10 Southern states into military occupation because the 10 Southern states refused to uh, favor the 14th Amendment. OK. Um, and why that, is that? Why is that? Well, because the, the 14th Amendment violates the uh, it violates the uh, U.S. Constitution and it violates the state constitution. It's it gets a little technical on that. It's when you read and understand the section one through four of the 14th Amendment. It's once you once anyone reads that and comprehends and all that, they understand. Well, okay, it makes sense. Why 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 the southern states uh, rejected the uh, the Fourteenth Amendment? It turns, and I know this is a little bit outside the points, but I'm glad it's a good question that you asked about the the Fourteenth Amendment. It creates the U.S. citizenship. Okay, um, it also deprives the let's just say the free man or the state citizenship. Now, I'm not really crazy about the state citizenship, okay? But let's just say it deprives the people that's lawfully, let's say, domicile in their state. It turns them into a corporate entity, which that is the, the U.S. citizenship, okay? It takes the people out of their freehold estate, okay? It, and this kind of goes with, let's say, Section 1 of the 14th Amendment. It, it neutralized people into a new body politic, okay? Uh, the 14th Amendment, it changes the entire structure from the original system, okay? So that, that's the reason why the South, for example, refused to uh, ratify the 14th Amendment. Other states were involved that didn't uh, want to ratify the 14th Amendment, but the thing is that they, they had to put the states into a military occupation and replace them with federal officers. Uh, oh my not gosh. Federal, well, military officers. Okay. They, so they removed the lawfully uh, state government and put military officers in the 10 Southern states to get enough votes to ratify the 14th amendment. Okay. Wow. And and yeah, um, but that's I'll, how is that legal? Because that's totally that's like war. That's like yeah, it, it, it is. That's, it. That, that's what that's what the uh, that's what the Reconstruction uh, Act is. It is a, a declaration of war against the independent nations. 
uh, it deprives the state of their sovereignty. Uh, so the 14th Amendment, uh, so when the 14th Amendment was installed by force, it created a new system, a brand new system. It, it, it actually is, if you look at it, the 14th Amendment created an entirely new constitution, let's say the U.S. Constitution. And because it's like, okay, it violates Article Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. And, it, and I, I, I got to explain that in the bullet points here on that. And But as far as the, the, the process to pass an amendment, uh, the 14th Amendment didn't uh, meet that requirements. Uh, I could read that and, you know, just to break it down to folks uh, very slowly yeah. about it, uh, why the 14th Amendment uh, is not rat lawfully ratified. But before I go on, the Re Reconstruction Act, I'm not sure if you could provide a link for folks to read up on that thread uh, that I provided. Reconstruction and Rights. Reconstruction yes, Act. Of, yeah, the Reconstruction Act that I, that I sent an email on it. Yeah, if, if folks read that, it gives... Um, it's it's uh, uh actually let me let me check the one that you that you sent because yeah. i have something else up but go ahead uh oh i see it, i see it okay let me do a screen share on that oh that's with the uh, thaddeus yeah that's the, the lovely yeah, thaddeus the, the, stevens yeah oh no we talked about i talked about him a while ago yeah that's but, the threat of the reconstruction act of 1867 the threat on on twitter well now it's x but yes yep so great, excellent. So yeah, this is this is the one of the most important part of our history that folks need to really uh, research. This this person right here, obviously, he put his hand there. Obviously, it's a oh, dude, that's a Mason sign. <laughs> oh my gosh, I yeah. just saw that. that yeah. So you guys, they they give us so many signs, and it's in plain view. And when you put the hand inside, I can't. That's hidden hand, or what is it? I can't remember what the name of it is. I forgot but it's a, that too. Yeah, I forgot. This. I Masa to... Masonic s symbol yeah, that shows I... he's a Mason. <laughs> Plus yeah, <I> Jesuit, <laughs> Satch Demon. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, this is incredible. This thread, uh, it, it really, it just when I first learned this in 2016, it just blew my mind away. I'm like, wow, we actually had a military coup and a, in a brand new system. So, yeah, this man is responsible. This is a one of the major key players. The reason why today we don't have a Republican form of government. This man, this is like one of the, this is one of the major key players. Him and the rest of Rump Congress, um, you know, they played a, an important role by sending the U.S. Army into the southern states during the Reconstruction Act and usurped, okay, usurped them uh, through at gunpoint. So the, 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 the lawfully uh, the state government was forced out at gunpoint and replaced by military officers. So again, puppet govern government, so that way to get enough votes, like I was saying. So yeah, it's a lot of information, but this is good stuff for, for people to research. I did put this, there are footnotes in that thread uh, for people to look into. Uh, so yes. So far as the 14th Amendment, so I'm going to move forward to the second point now, the 14th okay. Amendment. Okay. I'll look, I'll look that up for people. Yeah. Okay. Now... <clears throat> Now the 14th amendment now I'm going to break up in in this in this first point right here on the now now keep in mind there's going to be a lot of a narrative that the 14th amendment has been ratified but if you look deeper and there's other there's other court cases that will cite that the 14th amendment wasn't ratified but what I'm about to read here okay it, it it's it definitely will help anyone who will understand why the 14th Amendment is not ratified. It, it takes a lot of, um, I think what it is before I go forward, Michelle, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. is that, and I'm only going by experience. People, we're, we're just, a lot of us are very emotional. Uh, we parrot the information that we get from the government schools and mm -hmm. we don't really see the the obvious end of the, the, the lie that we've been, that we've been sold by the system. OK, mm -hmm. this there right here. So I'm going to read a point here. So 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 when I'm about to read it, just takes somebody to actually be open minded. OK, mm -hmm. so anyway, 
I want to read on, read on here on the 14th Amendment here. The, the joint resolution proposing the said amendment, okay, that's right in that green, that little green mm -hmm. meme, okay, was not submitted or adopted by the Constitution of Congress as required by Article 1, Section 3, and Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. Now, mm -hmm. I put this in my key note here, in my key note. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be said over here in that thread. No, Congress collapsed, okay, in November 1860. OK, this is another important part uh, that people need to understand. Congress collapsed on November 1860 when the southern nation seceded and Congress no longer had the votes or authority to do anything. And the state constitution after 1860 are part of the Reconstruction and, not, and, and therefore not not lawfully ratified along with the 13th Amendment and up. Mm -hmm. So. You need a constitutional Congress. This is what's required, okay? A constitutional Congress as required by Article 1, Section 3, mm -hmm. okay? And in Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution. So I'm going to go forward here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, number two. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Another thing. Well, too, I have a uh, question about this, though. Sure, So sure. why, so when you say the Congress, um, was it dissolved? Like, what happened? For the Congress to lose its power, because yeah, because like what happened in 1814 was the Jesuit order got reestablished, and then they started infiltrated all the other nations to bring down uh, Christianity and bring down our free country, and we slipped in. We we it was divinely guided, but so what happened to make Congress uh, lose its power? Was that the well? Um, well, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get to that, and I'm glad you said that. Okay, okay, and I and I forgot to include this part about the far as Congress goes. Okay, now when during after the war, the, the the international war, which is known as the Civil War, okay, there was no peace. There was no peace treaty between the South on with the Southern nations. Okay, mm -hmm. and also we're under we're still under martial law that Lincoln declared. Okay. OK, Jeez. that haven't that hasn't that's been that we have been under, under martial law since 1861 and it has oh. never been that's that's never been lifted. So they were there was never any peace treaty with the with the, again with the southern nations. And and uh, what happened was this prevented. For Congress from the south and the north to be to be restored. OK. Okay. So, so that that that's what prevented Congress from basically unifying again. So that's why the Constitution, for example, let's say the Amendment Thirteenth, Thirteenth and up, is not lawfully ratified. Now, even though the South, and I'm sorry to go here and there, but even though the South did favor the Thirteenth Amendment, far as abolishing slavery, okay, all right, but still. Mm -hmm. Technically, the Thirteenth Amendment is still part is part of the Reconstruction. That's a it's an alternate Thirteenth Amendment, but it's still part of the Reconstruction Amendment. It's not ratified, so all the state constitution is not ratified. Okay, so we have a rump Congress, pretty much doing the Reconstruction Act, pretty much doing their own thing. They use the U.S. Army to create a military coup. Okay, this is this, this is the dilemma that we've gone through on that time period. So. So to go on, I'm going to continue on with the 14th Amendment on the, the second okay. section. Okay. All the right. Joint, just let me know when, you, when you're when uh, you I'm that. there. Oh, there Got you it. Go. Okay, great. The joint resolution was not submitted to the president for his approval as required by Article 1, Section 5 of the United States Constitution. Okay. And then number three, the proposed amend, 14th Amendment was rejected by more than one-fourth of all the states in the union and it was never ratified by three-fourths of all the states in the union as required by article 5 section 1 of the u.s constitution okay wow. now right. i want to i want to go on and say this the u.s constitution provides article 1 section 3 the senate of the united states shall be composed of two senators from each state okay article 5 provides no state without its consent shall be deprived of equal suffrage in the Senate. Now, what happened was in this thread, there, there, there was, I think it was like 24, I think it was 24 senators was unlawfully locked out, meaning they were they weren't invited, they weren't invited in. Okay. I think it was around 24. Okay. This is a long now, this is a long thread here. 
Now, everything is with footnotes. Uh, there was pro yeah, there's, there's like yeah, like twenty four states protest. Yeah, no, New Jersey was one of them. New Jersey was the first one, but they have footnotes, and I really encourage you know anyone that's listening to research this stuff. Okay, uh, and it, it's just it, it again. If, if if anyone do the, do a fast Google search about the 14th Amendment wasn't ratified, you're not going to find it. You're not going to find this information like that. You have to dig deeper because the narrative has to be strong as far as the 14th Amendment has been ratified. This system is lawful. OK, mm -hmm. they have to maintain the narrative. So otherwise they can't afford people actually figuring the fraud out. This is the I say this is one of the biggest fraud in our history. OK. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on wow. with the third. I'm gonna go on with the third point here. Okay. Okay. All right. I will put it. Pop. Pull it up. Just go ahead and go for it. Go for it. Okay. The, right. the, the third, yeah. The Current. third point. Yeah. Texas. When the. Hmm? I'm sorry. Texas. The Texas one you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah, I want to read the um the 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 situation what happened when the Fourteenth Amendment. So the third point was when the Fourteenth Amendment was installed by force on July 9th, eighteen sixty eight, that created a new system. Let's say an alternate de facto, not a Republican form of government and not a constitutional federal. OK, later that year in 1868, the Supreme Court, OK, in a legal description that the current government de facto, OK, is not lawful wow. and, us and usurp the lawful authority. That is the Republican form of government. It will be it will be considered as de jure, de jure, uh, de jure uh, government. Excuse me. In this court case. So, and you will find that court case, it's, it's been verified. And also in the Texas uh, Supreme Court also stated that the, the current system de facto is not lawful. Okay. Uh, and I probably wow. put a, So, yeah. So I put a, I put a thread, a link to that thread for okay, folks I'll, to look up. I'll do a screen share. And I'm going to add all these screen, these links to the description. You guys are all in the description. This one right here. The yep, system that's, was that's the one. That's, that's, that's the one. Yep. Is not the original constitutional system. Yeah. This is found in Article 4, Section 4 of the U.S. Constitution. Oh, my gosh. According yeah. to Texas Supreme Court and U.S. Supreme Court, the current system is unlawful. Yep. Wow. This was in uh, 2020. Yeah. But yeah, I this yeah. whole thing started in 1868. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so, that that that's that's when yeah. So we had a, a new uh, new system installed. Uh, it's by a hand trick, basically. You know, a lot of people. Um, it, there's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of stuff went down because of the, doing the post reconstruction era and to force the when people in the southern states. I apologize, I didn't added this on the uh, bullet points. And I read some stuff when people in the 10 southern states was under military rule. OK, believe it or not, we was those those states was under military rule. People were oh arrested. Gosh. People in the southern states were arrested. Property was taken. People were being forced into the whole acceptance of the 14th Amendment. There's a lot of crazy stuff that went down if if people look up the protest, the states that protested against the 14th Amendment, you'd be amazed the stuff that you find. And also, I would encourage anyone, if you're going to do a search like that, use Brave Browser. Uh, uh -huh. use, Bra use Brave Browser with, 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 with uh, Tor, okay? Or go or, or get a or get a Tor browser, just Tor alone. And because Google, Google, um, DuckDuckGo, they censor how you search. Okay. Oh yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, use Brave. Brave is good. Use Tor. But I'm just saying that if you want to find some stuff that you just, it, it'll, it'll just make you, it'll just make your head spin. <laughs> it makes you. It makes me. It makes me angry and sick. And the, like that, when I first figured this out, I cried like a baby. And someone says, "Yeah, because part of you died." Because I felt like part of me did die. Everything I thought about the United States was just a freaking lie. And now it just keeps going deeper. Like this yeah. right here, the federal statute identifies. The system. current system as totalitarianism. So our current oh. system, you guys, our states are occupied by a foreign corporation known as the United States. This is what uh, Captain Matt was saying yesterday. The UC, the USC Title 28-300215A defines the United States means a federal corporation. I actually looked that up. That's actually in the link under his video. That's the link that goes directly to that. 
So, yeah. wow. So, so yeah. So I, I've seen over the years, a lot of people, there's some people, uh, they acknowledge that the United States is not a country, uh, you know, there's some, and, um, and that's, that's good. Cause you know, we've been, that's another big lie. And then what that, what you, what I picked that mean, but the, the entire United States, the American flag cover, because the United States, because of this reconstruction, it deprived the states of their sovereignty. Okay. If you look at the, even to doing a revolutionary war after the revolutionary war, okay, the states, okay, it was given independence, okay, there was sovereign independence. Nowhere, anywhere you find in any of the documents, any lawful document found in documents that you state that the United States is a country or a union of one nation. That's a complete lie, and uh, that's 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 really it, it's been. I say the brainwashing in this area it started a took off into a new level during the national anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm. Uh, and I created a thread on that. I know it's not part of the bullet point, but I just that's maybe I'll just do a topic on that. But I just want to say that we have we have a new we have a, a, a an illegitimate system that's installed. Okay, mm. it's not lawful. It doesn't matter who's in office. This is something that uh, folks need to really grasp in their minds. No matter who's in office, these people are usurpers. Uh, I I, I know there's a lot of people talk about Trump uh, or whoever. Yep. I, I used I to be a Trumper. I don't believe it anymore. I'm, I'm, good. I, when, when he started, when he started promoting the, the V and, mm-hmm. uh, Remde, Rem, Remdesivir, which a doctor told me that they call it run death is near. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, and a friend of mine was like, Michelle, this is a guy who grew up with all the elites, all mm-hmm. of them. Mm-hmm. He grew up with the same people that are in charge today. He grew up with all these mobsters, which are basically running everything. You know, he's not going to just turn around and be on our side. And one of the things also that they said, um, I, I can't remember who it was. I, I read this somewhere. They said, how are we going to control the opposition? And they said, because we are going to control the opposition. Mm-hmm. So they are controlling it so that they can get us. So what what happens? Trump gets in office. He did a lot of good for this country. I have to admit that because my business was the best it's been ever in my life. And um, he had the lowest minority uh, un- employment for my un- unemployment for minorities uh, and for women in, in ever. And uh, so he didn't really he did some good things. There was some not so good things he also put into place, you know, and he's still going to be a part of the entire system. So somebody was saying, you know, Oh, let's 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 get somebody good in there. I'm like, you guys, anybody we get in there, it's still the same system. It's a corporation that's running the country. Yeah. So it's like I don't know what the answer is. I I have been interviewing this guy named Tony from um, Sovereign uh, Productions 369, and he actually helps people, you know, uh, use their trust because we do have uh, we do have a trust. He helps people with their mortgages and their bills. And I'm thinking to myself today, I'm like, I bet that's the other that the other new system that we need to create. It's already in place. So let's help everybody get out of their um, bills and their mortgages so that they can have more freedom to learn more about this and to understand what truly the country is. And because it's not what we think it is. And anybody who gets put into president is it's the same exact corporation under us nothing's going to change you guys that's what i that's what that's my take on it Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you think gabe well yeah i mean you know you mentioned about trump and what he's done okay now i understand i understand you know what you're saying and the only thing i could this so much i could say i i mean (laughs) the way my mind works especially when i learn about what how the system is and how it operates i'll just say it like this straightforward Regardless of what Trump did, okay, you as a United States person, you're still under a subject of the federal, okay? Uh, you still, you know, we are still subject to taxation, okay? Mm-hmm. We have no inherent right to own property. We yep. have no inherent right to even own to own our own automobiles, okay? Everything that we claim to own is not ours, Okay, either we're leasing something, either we're living in a rent, even if we under we're subject to property taxation. I mean, this is the situation. Nobody, we, 
and our lives and our parents' life and our grandparents' life, they never really here in the union never really experienced what actual freedom is. And I'm talking about the freedom after the Revolutionary War. Yes. 80, 88 years from around 88 years from after the Revolutionary War to the International War of 1861. That time period, people live in a self-governing society. Okay. Yeah. People, community, people, they have their own inherent right to own property. People grow their own food. I mean, there was no meddling with the state and federal into mm -hmm. people's lives. That's something that we something that we need to know that about our history. We think that government's always been uh meddling our lives. That wasn't the case. We 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 just been influenced and conditioned by this system. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we had a, a self-governing society. I mean, people as a was identifying himself as a free man, as a free man and a freeholder. OK, and uh, don't, that's that's basically people how they live. They live self-sufficient, you know, uh, and that's something that we need to understand those basic on that. You know, I, I, I've seen some people talk about self-sufficiency and stuff like that. But understand when you when you vote for governance in this system, yeah, you're basically telling a system that I cannot govern myself. I need you to govern me and make all the hard decisions for me. And yes. they're going to do that, but there's a price to pay, obviously. They're going to oppress you. They're going to create more, um, you know, they're going to punish people through legislative action. You know, every bill, every bill that's being so-called bill that these people have no authority to pass, but let's just say every mm -hmm. executive order that's being thrown out, okay, starting from D.C., going towards the agents at the state house. As what's occupying our state house, they're creating more and more ways to restrict people. So yes. when you mentioned about Trump, nothing really changed in our lives. I mean, if you want to talk about the business, I'll say it like this: and anybody, and I don't want to go too far off from the from what I want to talk about in this in this interview, but I just want to throw this out there: this people that work as a small business, okay, now. When we, when people understand what it is about have a business and not have a government tell you what you can and can't do, okay? Yep. Let's say, let's talk about like free enterprise, okay? Government has no involvement what you do in your business, okay? As uh, far as, you know, you mentioned something about women, uh, about you working or the minority, let's say the minority of women work. And I and I talked to some other people about this too. The whole thing about women right to work is to put women along with the men as tax slaves. Mm -hmm. And for the corporate elites, for 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 them to profit more. Because they need yeah. more, they need more people at the workforce. So the workforce, every, everybody. Where did we hear that before? Ex exactly. So when so the 14th Amendment created this, I call a communist workforce. Everybody has to work. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Because think about it, uh, we don't have no inherent right to own property. You have to pay a mortgage, okay? You, you know what I heard it, that that the word lot lot means because well, there everybody you know all the properties has lot numbers mm -hmm. lease of tenant lot hmm. lease of tenant. Anyway, go hmm. ahead. Yes, yeah, we already don't yeah. own anything. Yeah. So so yeah. So so everybody has to work and pay for something that's not theirs, basically. So. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's the thing I, I tell anybody about this. It's 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 frustrating and it's it's not gonna go away because we continuously participate in the system. Now I wanna before I go on to that, I I, I do want to go forward with the other points on this. Yeah, because I, um, I want to show on a screen share about the 14th Amendment and Hawaii. Yes, that's the that's the next point. Yes. Yeah. Cause this is gonna be good, you guys. Here we go. Yeah. Under the 14th Amendment, Hawaii has no representation. Yeah. Now, if you go there, I, it took me a little time to create this thread, but I put all the people. I think it's this thread. If you if you go down, yeah. Now, yeah, this is a now this is their own federal statute. They're a totalitarian party. All parties are one, and I put right there, um, a snapshot, a screenshot of the you know to look up the totalitarian party, and to go down to uh, paragraph thirty seven. Okay. Let me go back. 
Sure. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go. Okay. So this is yeah. a, the Title Thirty Seven right here. Yeah. U.S. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Type Title Eight, Section Eleven Hundred One, and then you know, and then you know, and then you scroll down to Paragraph Thirty Seven. I think I, I think I need to redo that section. It's some parts are cut off. Okay. I apologize, but oh, okay. um, but yeah. See, so yeah. Now you okay. There you go. So you type that button right. See that image there with okay. the that says search. Well, if anybody looks at that, they'll they pretty much figure it out. Um, paragraph thirty-seven is that's where that's where you find the uh, totalitarian party. Okay, let's look okay, good, good. I'm glad you're doing that. Title eight. Oh, oh, Title Eight. Okay, Title, Title eight. eight, Aliens yep. and Nationality. Yep. Now go. And now, yep. now, thirty-seven, Chapter okay. thirty-seven, Paragraph thirty-seven, Paragraph. Or paragraph. Yeah, where oh, go down okay. the. Oh, let me see. I'm sorry. Let me just. Uh, Title Eight. Hmm. Hold on, everybody. We're gonna get there. Cause it was thirty-seven. I saw that. Go to Title. Let me see here. It says. Okay, Title Eight, Chapter Twelve. Yeah, Twelve. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. That's okay. Sorry. Yeah, these codes are really. I know <laughs> there's so many of them. They Let do that. Just... They, and... they do that on purpose, obviously. And the thing is, too, I was always going, "Oh, why do they keep on making laws every single year? Like mm -hmm. they have to make so many laws every year, like more and more laws. What the heck?" Okay, yeah. so I'm in Chapter Twelve, okay. and then you know subchapter. What? Oh, you know what? You I... know what? I, I apologize. I. Let me let me see something here. Hold on. One That's okay. Hold we can on. also yeah, you can summarize Good. if you want. One second. Figure it out, and I'll put it. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in the uh, description. Uh, once we get it, once we find it, but um, but yeah, look at this, you guys. This is like, this is why. Look at this. This is bullshit. All of this and and mm -hmm. the trees, the palm trees don't burn in a fire in a wildfire. Are you freaking kidding me? So uh, standtogetherhawaii.com forward slash Maui fires will give you so much information on this fire. Um, yeah. So go ahead. So, um, so, so if you go, if you, if you scroll down on bottom, uh, also, you know what, thread? you know what, you know what, if you go back up to the totalitarian party, if mm -hmm. people would just, if people would just highlight, let's say, uh, totalitarian party, United States code. Okay. Uh, type, title 8, 1101, 1101. Uh, and then paragraph 37, they'll go find it to a Google search. It'll be like on the top. party. What was it again? Italian party. If, if, you, if you type, okay, 1101, title to party, 1101. Oh, okay. title, title 1101, paragraph 37, put print, put title eight. There you go. Title eight. And then oh, title eight, not yeah, 1101. Yeah, title eight and then 1101. And then put 37. And it, it, it would... I'm just gonna put that in. Let's let's see what comes up, and then I can look okay, down there it, for there it is. There it right is. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, but you see, on top of that Google search, it just it just gave you right there. It tells you exactly. Okay, great. Now here it is. Definition. Now eleven oh one is a definition. Now go down all the way down to thirty seven. Okay. Paragraph thirty seven. Paragraph thirty seven. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Very slowly. There okay, you go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There it is. Right there. Okay. All right. The term totalitarian party means an organization which advocates the establishment in the United States of a totalitarian di dictatorship or totalitarianism. The terms totalitarian dictatorship or total or and totalitarianism mean and refer to systems of government. I'm just going to do this. Not representative, in fact, characterized by the existence of a single political party organized on a dictatorial basis with so close an identity between such parties and its policies and the government policies of the country in which it exists, that the party and the government constitute an indistinguishable unit and the force and the forcible su suppression of opposition to such party. How interesting. So yeah, so that's that is one of the one of the ugly truth about the system. Now this is their own federal statutes. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, 
a lot of people have a hard time uh, swallowing that. And I tell that I tell that the Trump supporters, the Biden supporters, I tell that to a lot of people. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, do, it doesn't matter. I mean, the things that that the uh, Trump, Biden, or whoever that comes up in a podium and talks all these things that they want to, they tell you things that you want to hear. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> none of these people are going to expose themselves publicly the way you know. Even though their federal statute states who they are. Okay, they're not going to. They're not going to because they put in a narrative, the political narrative up front. So for everybody to be distracted about, oh, well, Trump said he's going to do this and Trump's going to do that. And oh, he did this, he did that. Well, Biden did this. He said he's going to do this and everything. And it doesn't matter what these people do, what they say. The fact is, is that we have a totalitarian system that's been installed uh, in 1868. This entire system is not lawful. Now, if you look at the uh, that Maui, that threat on Maui, yeah, I, I want to, if you scroll down, for your, for, for, you know, for your, for your viewers to see. Now, now I expose now the governor, this, this person, regardless who, regardless who's in office, mm -hmm. we don't have a Republican form of government. This no, is no, he walks out when people start to talk and they ignore everything we say. When we say, don't pass this bill, over 8,000 people, over 700 people, said, no, don't pass the CBDC, zero said yes, and they still passed it. They don't listen to us because they don't have to. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, U.S. citizens, and, and this, this is something that is something that's very hard for a lot of people to understand, that U.S. citizens don't have a, a, a voice. There's ways that we discussed yesterday about as far as what we could do in regards to them uh, paying attention or doing what they claim to say they're going to do for the people, for the public. But anyway, to go to continue, uh, I put down these are these are all imposters. Do they know? Do they know? Oh no, they 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 do know. Whether they know or not, it really doesn't matter. Um, actually, can you scroll up? I want to I want to read this real quick. Why why I keep emphasizing not representing the fact? Just scroll up a little bit towards the beginning. Oh, more. The, you know, yeah. I just wanted to. Okay. Right now, there. yeah. Let me let me see. Moreover. Because I put the definition of not representative in fact, this is something very, the key point to this um, thread. Uh, go up a little bit, go up a little bit. A little more? Yeah, okay. no, no, right here, right here, yeah. Let me right see. Here? Okay. Yeah. I know I put it, I'm sorry, I'm not in front of my actual Twitter page, but anyway, the definition okay. of, the, okay, I'll just say in my own word, the definition of in fact, okay, the quote unquote in fact, mean is real, okay? Okay. In fact, me is real. It's in my own words. Okay. Oh. Okay. That okay. means real. Now, yeah. in the statute, within the statute of the totalitarian party, within the statute, you see not representative in fact. So when it says not representative in fact, they're basically saying that they are not real representatives. Where is this at in our, in our it's, legal it's stuff? In, it's in the, well, you have to look at the statute, the federal statute okay. of the totalitarian party. If you read the totalitarian party again, that statute, it tells you the, the term not represent. Okay, good. Right there. Okay. Now, uh, trying to see this. My, and my screen is a little small on my screen. Uh, uh, okay. The term totalitarian means an organization which advocates the establishment of the United States totalitarian dictatorship. So, okay. um, yeah, okay. here it is. Oh, here it is. Go, go, yeah, yeah, right. Go, go, I see it. Go not okay. Char okay, not Before representative system, in fact. fact. They so, characterized by a an existing single p political party organized. Okay, so yeah. Wow, so, the term. Okay. That's why I broke it down in that thread. Far as that term, not representative in fact. So from federal to state, okay, the people that claim to represent, they're not real. It's, this is their own words. I use a I use a definition of Black Laws Dictionary. I think six yeah. edition, six six edition of deluxe. So what does the term Man. in fact mean? So I put all these people that's occupying Hawaii State House. Every single one of these people are imposters. Every one of them. Oh. Yep. So, so to understand why people. Are having a hard time dealing because you know you're dealing with 
you're dealing with criminals, psychopaths. That's the, and that's, this is mafia. That's, yes. They don't represent the people. Okay. Uh, and that's why you're constantly struggling against them. The governor, he's an insurgent governor. He's not a Republican former governor. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna reason with criminals. That's the, yeah. this is the, this is something that everybody needs to know. Uh, and a sheriff, I also this is a this is gonna be my my other next point here. And, I'm, and let me see. Let me hold on one second. Just trying to. Okay. So my, so what can people do? Because that's what I want to end with. I always end with positiveness. Oh sure. Um, but sure. but I don't want to end yet because I know you have a couple more yeah. things to mm -hmm. share. Yeah, I just want to also mention the fifth point. Uh, under the insurgent system, we have no constitutional sheriff. Yes, well, yeah, Hawaii definitely yeah. doesn't have a constitutional yeah. sheriff. But 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 yeah, but throughout the entire union under this system, um, the sheriff, you see, a a de jure sheriff, they uphold the law, and when they uphold the law, that is the supreme law of the land. That is the let's say the, the common law, but it's the supreme law of the land. Uh, under this system. Mm -hmm. the, the, the ones that claim to be sheriff, they're basically you. They're going by statutes. Now, statutes. That's another thing that it's another thing that we need to know. Statutes is not law. Okay, okay. Legal and law are two different things. Uh, I, I think I should create. I, I have a link on that, but I want to create a thread uh, about that. But legal and law is not the same. So when they when the sheriffs operate under statutes, they're not operating under uh, the the law of the land. Okay. Uh, also, another key, one of the key factors, the reason why we don't have no constitutional uh, sheriff. One, they've been voted in by, and I know I didn't talk about this. There's so much to talk about when it comes to the fourth. It Amendment. is insane. The the rabbit yeah. hole is so deep. It's so big. The, the fourth yeah the, the thing is that uh that the sheriff's been voted in by voting rebels and uh to vote in this system is a crime so it, that's 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 another i mean section two of the 14th amendment by far is the most evil section of that amendment but to vote in their election you have to participate in rebellion and commit other crime now so to go back, what I was saying that how the sheriffs have been voted in by voting rebels is because we've been set up uh, to to rebel against the laws of the original system that's still in place to this day. The it, even though the the Republican form of government, the the, the officials been usurped by force, but the laws is still effect to this day. It's just that it's been overwritten, let's just say, or let's say. You have the 14th Amendment created a secondary legal system to hover above the, the laws of the original system. So everything that we're dealing with right now, we're dealing with a system that's grounded through statutory so-called law. So that we, we don't have no sheriff. The, the courts here operate de facto, the state courts. It's not operate under the law of the land, which is the common law, Okay. Uh, and all that's been created by, again, it points to the 14th Amendment, okay? So when you trying to get the sheriff to do the right thing, I mean, there's some, I've heard some stories, there's some sheriff decide to not follow orders and do that, and what happens to the sheriff at the end? He or she gets fired, right? Mm -hmm. Or gets silenced in some other way. But the thing is that we have no constitutional sheriff. The rep people that represent us claim to represent us. They're a totalitarian party. So, and I, I'm glad you asked that question. What can we do? Now, there is a process, but the thing is, it's not going to be a quick process. No, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be. No, I, I, I tell people, I know I know we're frustrated and we've been suffering for so long. And I I, I get it because I feel the same. I'm, I'm Trust me, I, I understand the the best thing the first step that we could do right now is get the word out to more people about the system that's the first thing all right people need to educate themselves what we're dealing with that is the first step and they have to be open-minded okay because everything we've yeah. been told is a lie okay mm -hmm. that's the first step so more okay. people more people know about this the better yeah. okay the second point, second step, okay. 
Okay. Folks will have to correct their status. They will yeah, have Yeah, we've to, been talking about that. Yeah, they're going to, now there's, I'm trying to figure out how to say this because there's a lot of people that have the same similar or share the same similar information I have and I observe and I don't want to, I mean, people have their own process and everything and that's fine, but I'm just going to say it straight from what the law is, nothing, anything crazy. People will have to become a free man. Yeah. A free man, national of their state. Yes. But, okay. So uh, the term free man, that is, that is in the constitution. It depends on your state constitution, actually. But it's in the constitution, a free man. Um, and then the, to be a free man, now, the, you have to, it requires a change of lifestyle. Meaning that when you correct your status, Okay, it is a it is it is administrative process to do this because there's a lot of agencies, there's a lot of fraudulent agency attached to the U.S. citizenship. There's a lot. So if you're open to do this, okay, you have to be one. You're gonna have to figure out a way. I'll tell anyone like this straight up. You're gonna have to figure out a way to make money, okay, without the government sticking their nose into your business. So whatever, let's say you're, let's say somebody is an exterminator, right? Or a plumber, okay? And they're licensed, right? That yeah. person will have to find a way if the person like his or her trade as far as that, you're going to have to find a way to continuously do that without being licensed by the state. Yeah. See, this is where they, this is where they get you. And it really, it really I, I know. me off. Because I'm like license. I'm like, who's you license means you're getting permission to do something. And I understand like there's different regulations, and you have to keep things safe, but you know, it's it's you know, yeah. it, it's yeah. And the other thing I want to share about this is that if you guys are going, how can I do that? I can't do that, don't say that. But what you want to <laughs> do is you want to just you want to go, I'm really curious to see how I can do this. I don't know how. And I know everything is happening for my highest good. So I know that, that something's going to show up that's going to show me how this is going to work out for me, how I can create money mm -hmm. or make a living outside of the system. And that's yeah. all you have to do. But you have to ask the question and you have to trust that the answer is there. But don't immediately say, oh, I can't do that or, or uh, you know, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, you don't know how, but just ask. I'm curious to see how this can happen and this can work in my life. Just ask that question. Because the yeah. answer will come. Oh yeah, it it will it definitely will. I I definitely agree with what you're saying. It, it's gonna take a lot of effort on the individual, far as being creative and figuring a way, because the system locked us down. Yeah. Uh, even though people talk about, oh, I, I don't need a government, but the system locked us down for you to depend on them. Yes, absolutely. To, 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 to everything that we do, the rely it goes back to involvement of the government so yes. anyway so so far as the, being a free man so yeah you're gonna have to figure out a way to make money without the government sticking its nose in your business um that's that's the foremost part now not everybody could do this not everybody could be a free man because to be a free man you have to be uh you know if you have some sort of obligation in the system they, I mean, it's not a one size fits all, Michelle. This is very yeah, important. I need correct. to say, yeah. everyone's lifestyle is different. Yeah. So you're gonna have to figure out how I'm able to live in a way. Now, there's something. Here's here's some things that is that you're not gonna get. Like it's a lot. Look, like, here's the difference between lifestyles. We're used to having credit cards. We're used to banking in a monet in this through their monetary system and everything. As a free man, you're not gonna be able to have a loan. You're not gonna be have a credit card, okay? Okay, you're but not you know able... what? But if you if you um uh if but the good thing about that is that this whole thing is also gonna get you out of the CBD system, right? The CBDCs, mm -hmm. or yeah. Wait, what, Go do ahead. C, what do you mean by CBD? Central uh, bank digital currency. Oh yeah. Oh yes. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Um. So yeah. So. So basically, yeah, so you're not going to be able to use their banks, okay? So that's the thing. You're not going to have a social security number no more, 
Okay. Uh, far as uh, and it's, it, there's so much more. It, it, you're not gonna get a loan. Okay. You know, no health benefits, no 401ks. None of those things will be available to you when you actually free from the system. Now, you if you choose to do that, if you choose if, to do that, if, this if, is a if, choice, everybody. It's a choice. And this maybe. And maybe mm -hmm. just some people just want to know this information. They just want to mm -hmm. know. I've always asked. I'm like, I just want to know the truth. I would walk around and I'd look at the sky and I'm like, I just want the truth. Just tell me the truth. And maybe that's just you. Maybe you just want to know the truth. And now you know it. Keep your heart open to see how this is going to work out for you. But um, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead, Gabe. Yeah. So, 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 yes. So, um, but yeah, so, so I already established about this, you know, far as making money and the lifestyle and the difference between a free man and a U.S. citizen. Uh, you have to be completely, you have to remove yourself entirely from the system. Now, you mentioned about trust. Now, what I know, and I, I need to look through my notes, I don't have it in front of me, but far as trust, the whole thing with the trust is a trap by the system. I wouldn't open a trust, but that's me. Uh, it, it's, it's not incompatible with the common law. I will research this and I'll dig through my notes on the trust, but I've seen people doing that. And, uh, and I, I remember I had somebody one time told me that they're really setting people up into a trap. They're going to get possession and they're going to get, they're, they're going to come after people that create these trusts. And uh, I, I, I would just, I would research this stuff, but the problem is, is you go, you, you only know what you know. If you don't know certain things, it's understandable. But I'm just want to just encourage anybody to research, do a lot of digging as much as possible. But if the the fact that the the trust, the whole thing, the trust, I can't really talk so much about it so much right right now. I have to go through my notes, and I apologize. I just want to mention because you no commented worries. about the trust. Okay, so um, so the free man status, it is, it's not hard, it's not hard. It's just that what's the difficult part is is leaving the, the type of lifestyle and our mentality we've been we've been conditioned through the system behind is going to be challenging yeah but, it's, but it, it is possible because i knew a few people uh that became a free man uh i knew one person's a free man in new jersey uh he when he corrected his status uh his job uh, his job basically thought he was nuts they actually, they evaluated him in a mental institution, believe it or not. And uh, he was saying, uh, this is what communism does. They, you yeah. know, when you want to be free, they're going to think that you're crazy. So they evaluated him. Uh, he, 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 he ended up losing his job anyway. But he got his, he's still able to get his retirement. Um, um, at what because it's a what, contract. Because it's a contract and everything well, is contracts. Well, right? yeah, and, and, no? and, yeah, everything is a contract. But the thing is, in his situation is, um, to me, and that's why we need more people to get involved in this because his situation may work, but if somebody else's situation that's similar to him may not have, may have a different result. He get checks through his former employer from his retirement checks, okay? But he's not part of the system no more. I mean, he's living fine. He got, he's gone through challenges, in the beginning, um, he corrected himself. The system will test you. Um, they will see if you know law. Uh, so when you correct your status, it's important for you to understand the common law procedure. Uh, that's another, uh, like, that's something I would love to discuss on one, of the, one day uh, in another interview or so. But common law procedure, it's very important to know how to defend yourself. And it's good to know administrative law, so-called law, because so maybe maybe we'll do another video on that. But um, so we have we've already shared like a ton. It's almost an hour. So <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> what, yeah, I know you guys, and this is a lot of information. And you blew my mind because this is like the part of the history of that we've been taken over since after the Civil War. Which actually, I was thinking that that's when we were taken over because Thaddeus Stevens did put forth the um, the Fourteenth Amendment uh, at that time. But I did not know that it's a totalitarianism and all of the things you just shared. So this is a lot, you guys. Just take it one bite at a time, because mm -hmm. to realize that you live in a you don't live in a country that you thought you did, 
is mind blowing. And it's for me again, like I lost, I lost it. I just, for three days, I couldn't get out of bed. I was so depressed. And then I was like, what do we do? And I'm learning what to do. Cause we have to, I can't remember who it was that said, um, you don't want to, the only way to get out of a system is to create a new one and then start following that. Mm -hmm. So this may not be for, this isn't for everybody. So it's only yeah. for repeat, you know, and if it's not for you, just keep learning anyway. Just keep learning anyway. Yeah, that's and what one I, step forward. Yeah, I want to also add, also say that you know, if anyone, yeah, for those that can't or unable to correct their status, and if you can't, just if anyone is ready and you wanted to make that life change, just uh, you know, you know, get in contact with Michelle, and then you know, everybody contact me, Michelle, if somebody wants to do this. Now, what real? Just want to just also want to mention about what happened in Hawaii. Just, just to oh yes, the, the reason why the purpose of this whole topic. Okay, in one of those threads, I think the the Maui thread, I did put the the trading with the enemy act. Okay, this is very important. Now, I didn't mention that U.S. citizens do not have inherent right to own property. Okay. The whole idea now this connects with the whole land grab okay u.s citizens are residing in hawaii you're not domicile in your state okay or your country let's say or this same same thing but you're not doing so you're an alien that's residing in the state so they have that's why they're able to succeed it with their land grab even though what they did is unlawful and against uh property and natural rights okay so with the trading with the enemy act and that act That's and i right. created when i create i created a thread on that u.s citizens are the enemy to the system the reason why you the consider the enemy of the eyes of the of the system and the law is because we've been tricked to participate in this system to rebel against the republic so by your participation of their system mm -hmm. you are deemed as the enemy and yeah. they're gonna they're gonna treat us as such, this is the reason why people are struggling in Hawaii. It's not just Hawaii, but the rest of the union. But I just wanted to bring it home with this because I, I do my best to connect these things piece by piece to tell folks this is the reason why the system is operating the way it does against you. It's your status. It's your position in law. What is your status as a U.S. person? You're not, you're not a, you're not a living man. You're not a living woman. You're an entity. And you even said, you're not statute. a person, everybody. Yeah, so you not, said person. We've said that yeah. we've, we've given people this definition before. Now, 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 now I want to also say this too, because my mind, the way my mind works, it's like, I say one thing and I, my mind say, well, I better say, I better say this because I've seen people are confused with certain things. I want to be clear in case of anybody thinking this. What I'm sharing today, this is not anything to do with a sovereign citizen. I need to bring share this, folks, because there's a lot of people out there talking about sovereign citizens and it confusing some of the stuff that I share. Now, there's people out there talking about sovereign citizen. They share a similar situation because I'm just gonna say it like this. So I, you know, I hope I don't want to get offended, but some people take certain pieces of information and mix it up with something that can't be verified. So what I talk about is I talk about constitutional laws, historical facts, being, let's say, the status of being a free man and what the U.S. citizenship is. So uh, there's no such thing as a sovereign citizen because you would not find that term in the Constitution, in the state, federal constitution, the Articles of Confederation, the Declaration of Independence. So I want to be very clear, this is not about sovereign citizen. Okay? We're talking about people having inherent right to own property people the, okay not persons this, yeah this is the, this is the foundation of our history people have inherent right to own property okay all right so your house your automobile it's about gaining possession of that so anyway i just want to throw it out there i know i talked a lot about this and i want to try to cover a lot of bases as much as possible in this in this clip here um also, I'm on well, I'm, I'm on Twitter. Uh, you can so share them. Yeah, go ahead. yeah. I'm gonna um get all your information and put it in the description on this YouTube channel. So if you guys want to find more information, you can just uh, click on the description and you'll you'll find Gabe with uh, all of his um his Instagram and his uh, website and and whatnot to to reach out to him. And this this is just learning, you guys. One step forward. Yep. And don't believe us. Research it for yourself.
Mm -hmm. because this is not the world we, we live in. But Gabe, thank you so much for joining. And is thank there any last so things you want to share? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just uh, research. I think the information, the content I share will require uh, anyone to focus. Uh, it's going to be impossible to preoccupy your mind with the political circus and the knowledge. So I'm speaking from experience because I was, I was conditioned and brainwashed like be like I'm nobody better, but it's best for folks to focus. If you want to understand what's going on around you and why things are the way they are, uh, you're gonna have to focus and have an open mind to research the stuff that I share. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and we do have a way out. We do have an, uh, the system in place. Oh yeah, that there's a remedy. Our constitution is still there. It's just underneath the evilness, and we can get to it. We just have to learn how. So oh, it's just one step at a time. Well, one thing, one thing before before you end this. Uh, the the remedy to um, far as be free that these because these imposters criminals they have to create when there's a wrong they have to create a remedy that's just the golden rule the remedy to um, to be free was wasn't created the day before the 14th amendment was installed by force and that is the expatriation expatriation act now I just want to say this really really quick okay. Uh, this is not about you leaving the country. There's another, there's another definition. There's another meaning of that term expatriation. Okay. It's about you leaving the political body politic of this system, not the actual country. It's the political body, the corporate body politic that you're under with this system. That's what it's all about because this is a voluntary system. You're everything, what we go through. Every all the suffering is by our consent. So I'll love to talk about that in the future clips, but I'm just saying that the remedy exists the right the day before the 14th Amendment was installed. So there is there is uh there is hope, folks. You just we just have to know where to look and be determined. That's all. Yes. Yep. So okay, everybody, we're gonna do a quick prayer with Gabe. Yes. So just close our eyes, drop into this present moment and Wow, just feel the whatever you're feeling. For me, I'm a little anxious, feeling a little anxiety like normal. <laughs> There's nothing wrong or right with those feelings. There's nothing. It's just a normal human feeling. It's just a frequency in, in your body. So right now, just acknowledge your human your human experience in this present mo moment right here, right now, with nothing to fix, nothing to make right or wrong or good or bad. You are a normal human being who maybe you're hearing this information for the first time and it's lit lit you up with anger or and or confusion or maybe you're hearing this for the second or third time and you're just like wow another person speaking the truth thank you thank you thank you whatever you're feeling right now in the present moment is absolutely perfect for your human experience your human experience your human journey and great spirit infinite intelligence of all things we know that this is a game we came to play on this human planet this plane of existence, of being in a human body, of going through our lives and thinking this is real and this government is real and now seeing the truth because the veil is being lifted and the darkness can no longer stand when the light is shining right in its face. And the light is shining. It is shining all throughout Lahaina and Maui. It is shining throughout East Palestine on the mainland in the United States. It is shining on Israel and Palestine and uh, um, in Australia and New Zealand and China and Russia and Ukraine, all of the places around the world, Canada and Mexico, all the places, this light is shining so bright that no darkness can stand anymore, that the lies are being unfolded, that are they are being revealed. This place and that place, they cannot, it's like trying to hold water. The light shines so brightly and the truth is spilling out of so many people's mouths. And we give so much gratitude to the courage that it takes to stand forward and to speak the truth of what is happening. And we know great spirit, infinite intelligence of all things. We know that the Jesus Christ consciousness is here loving all of us intensely with so much love and so much high frequency energy that this planet is free, that all people are free and safe and able to live a beautiful, wonderful life, loving life of connection with their ohana, their family, their friends, and that all children are kept safe. 
And we don't know how this is going to work out, but we know it's working out. And we get to watch as magic unfolds on the planet in each one of our lives. We get to watch that as the truth of what is really happening in Israel and Palestine really unfolds, that the truth that the evilness is really creating that war and it has nothing to do with the people. We know that this truth is unfolding now and being revealed. And we know that this truth of what the United States Corporation is and that all people who are learning this are guided to their next step with ease, with flow, with understanding, with comprehension. And we know that it is done. And we give so much gratitude to the angels and guides that always are with us. We give so much gratitude for every single higher self that said, yes, I will go forth on earth at this time in history, and I will be part of the great awakening to awaken the planet to what is true, what is real, and what is my part to do? What is my kuleana? And knowing that you step forward in love and in truth and in absolute faith that you've got this. And so it is. Mahalo, Gabe, you. for joining Thank you. me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really, I, right. I really, I really feel good about this. Thank you so much for making this happen. I appreciate it. Awesome. We'll do it again. We'll do it again soon. All right, Definitely. you guys, much mahalo. Mahalo for joining. Oh, yeah. subscribe, like, help us keep those algorithms up. Uh, check my sponsors in the description if you want to donate anything. And I do want to say thank you to people who have donated and bought me a coffee or bought my book or or whatever. That I just really appreciate that. That 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 makes this worth it as well and helps uh helps keep this going. So much mahalo for that. Aloha, everyone. Thank you.